Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity. And Mr. Speaker, I'll say, save from uh, reports that I've heard from last week from the media, I'm really shocked that uh, a communication is done on removal of my position, a position that was negotiated by my party with the coalition partners without informing me, Mr. Speaker, without actually involving me at all, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, as you are aware, in Article 47 of the Constitution, there is a provision of right of every person to administrative action that is lawful, reasonable, and procedurally fair and under Article 236B of the Constitution provides that due process of law should be followed prior to any removal of office process being effected, Mr. Speaker. And so I am a member of Jubilee Party. Mr. Speaker, I can confirm to this House that we have not been called for any PG of our Jubilee Party neither have our coalition partners called us formally for any meeting and so mr speaker i feel that this is a right that has been denied we are 28 members of this house mr speaker and so this position is not sabina's position but it is jubilee party position and hence we need mr speaker to be consulted Mr. Speaker, we need to be involved in any process or any decision. And Mr. Speaker, I'll only term this as harassment and intimidation from our coalition partners, Mr. Speaker. It has happened before. You remember, Mr. Speaker, when the issue of the PSC came, we even sought for some time to sit with our coalition partners. And our party, Mr. Speaker, was denied a position of a commissioner, which is a right, Mr. Speaker. And so, under Article 3, Mr. Speaker, you have an obligation to uphold the Constitution, which you have severally done so in this House, Mr. Speaker. And allow me to say that that letter from the Minority Leader, Rabo Wandai, which you have referred to, and it makes reference also to studying on the number 20A, which the leader has alleged invoked uh, to commence the replacement, Mr. Speaker. I seek the indulgence of members of this House, Mr. Speaker, as we read studying on the number 20A, and tell me whether the studying orders accords with the Constitution in terms of Article 47, on fair administration of action. And Mr. Speaker, the studying order has no due process. And this is what the leader of minority is using to intimidate me to leave a position that was negotiated by my party. And I will not take it kindly. And I know also my party members will not take it kindly. There is no justice, Mr. Speaker, and the due process has not been followed. As I've again mentioned, Mr. Speaker, I've only had this on the floor of the House, and nobody has contacted me, neither have our party members been contacted. Was there a meeting that was held? Were there minutes, Mr. Speaker, that were given to you as part of this communication? Were there signatures that were there? And how many members of Jubilee Party signed? Mr. Speaker, I will beg that you avail to us these records and give us ample time before you communicate, Mr. Speaker, for us to sit and deliberate. One, as Jubilee Party, and number two, as a coalition, Mr. Speaker. And as a way forward, Mr. Speaker, I know you have commented that you have uh, received our uh, messages from Honorable Samuel Arama, who is uh, our parliamentary whip, Mr. Speaker, on Jubilee Party being an independent party, 
And so, Mr. Speaker, we deserve to have our own position in this, including our leadership position as Jubilee Party. We cannot be ignored, Mr. Speaker, where we have 28 members, we are second largest minority party. And so, Mr. Speaker, we beg that, Mr. Speaker, you give us time. We have our dispute resolutions. We have to follow the due process, Mr. Speaker. Give us time so that we can table in front of you in this house the deliberations that will follow. But for now, Mr. Speaker, I would like and I request that the communication be treated as null and void until the parties sit down, agree, and everybody is involved. Mr. Speaker, we will not allow this position to go like the way they did for the position of the commissioners. I raised the matter. It was ignored. We lost the position. But this one, we will not allow our partners to take it away. It might not be Sabina, Mr. Speaker, but this is... I'm the victim. Yeah. So thank you, Mr. Speaker. As I conclude, Mr. Speaker, I want to reiterate and say, yes, I am a member of Jubilee Party. And Jubilee Party is the second largest minority party in this house, Mr. Speaker. And I beg that we also get our equal share from the committees, from the House leadership, Mr. Speaker, and do not allow these people, Mr. Speaker, to intimidate us. Remember, Mr. Speaker, at one point, when you are a senator, the same people called you your position, and you warned them it's going to be noisy and messy. And so, Mr. Speaker, I want to repeat again. We will not allow to be conned, Mr. Speaker. And we will repeat again. It's going to be noisy and messy, Mr. Speaker. Do not forget the journey we have walked together. And so when we get to this level, this is when they want to intimidate, intimidate us, Mr. Speaker. There is also freedom of association which, Mr. Speaker, you have also communicated in this office. So we are free to associate. We are free also to make independent decisions, Mr. Speaker, but we will not be cowed. We will not be intimidated. Mr. Speaker, as it was ruled then, when you are removed from the position, now you are at a position, Mr. Speaker, where you can be able to guide this house. I pray that God will give you wisdom that you give us proper direction. But for now, Mr. Speaker, without...